My dog, Sally, doesn't know that it's Wednesday. She, she has no plans for tomorrow. She doesn't even have plans for today. She is just in the moment. Right here beside me, right now, for her, life is good. And to her, that's all that matters, living in the moment. And it's not that she doesn't care about what's going on in the world, it's just that she's just unaware, and maybe that's normal. Maybe you and I should learn something from Sally, that when we take another motorcycle ride, maybe we just need to be in that moment too. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Recorded in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. Welcome to Peace Love Moto, the podcast for motorcyclists seeking that peaceful, easy feeling as we cruise through this life together. Are you ready? Let's go. As I mentioned on a previous episode, I recently went on a five-day ride through southern Wyoming and most of Colorado with my brother-in-law, Jim. That's where we met a guy named Fred in Durango. Now, if you want to learn more about Fred, check out episode 29. But on that road trip also, we stopped at a very remote and beautiful campground called Kebler Corner. It's in Somerset, Colorado. The ladies that were running the campground were just so nice and such a pleasant atmosphere. I just wanted to give them a shout out here. Another side trip that we took was across an area in Colorado called North Park. Colorado has North Park, Middle Park, and South Park. As for North Park, the valley gets its name from being the northernmost of the three large mountain valleys or parks in Colorado. And it's on the western side of what we call the Front Range. They say that these areas, although sitting in the middle of a huge mountain range, were really made flat back in the ice ages due to glaciers going back and forth. So North Park in particular is very popular with moose because several slow moving rivers run through that area and moose like marshy, slow moving waters. Well, here's a safety tip for motorcycle riders. A moose can stand six feet tall at the shoulder and can weigh as much as 1,400 pounds. And they're fast, too. So I say to all you motorcycle riders who are in the area, keep your eyes open. (laughs) You don't want to make an unexpected contact with a bull moose. So it's in North Park, between County Roads 14 and 125, that you'll find two country communities. One is called Gould, spelled G-O-U-L-D, and one is called Rand, R-A-N-D. It's County Road 27, between those tiny little towns that we rode. So County Road 27 is a dirt road and it's relatively smooth. Riding east to west, it cuts through the forest, past small ranches with cows inside and outside of their own fences. (laughs) Then it suddenly climbs and just about as quickly levels off to reveal an expanse like I've seldom seen anywhere. Looking to the north and to the west, you can see about 40 miles. It was up on that ridge where Jim and I stopped just to take it in. It was not only the view, but it was the silence. Not a car in sight for miles. Now you can drive to that destination in a car or a Jeep, but there is really something special, I'd say, about arriving there by motorcycle. Maybe we're a little bit more part of nature when we're exposed that way and get to a very special destination. An uncluttered view and silence. That's what you experience on this unnamed ridge between Gould and Rand on County Road 27. This is serenity. And to me, this is peace. And along with having some degree of confidence that your motorcycle is going to start again and you've got enough gas to get back to town, that's comfort and maybe even joy all packaged together. I say all this because maybe things today are not the way they're supposed to be. Maybe we're not supposed to live such busy and stressful lives. 
We all know the quote, there's nothing new under the sun. And I may be misinterpreting it here a little bit, but I would argue that, yeah, there is something new. The information age. With TVs in every room and computers in our pockets, we're connected to the world 24 hours a day, and we know what's happening in the world at any given time. And usually it's the bad news, right? That we're exposed to, because bad news gets our attention. And the more bad news we watch, typically the more advertising we watch, and the more money we end up spending. We become addicted to staying informed, staying connected, all the time and I think that's something new under the sun honestly and I'm not sure that that's good for us so maybe I can't live in the moment like my dog Sally isolated from the overwhelming connectivity that bombards us in this information age but I can start my motorcycle and I can go out to places like North Park or somewhere like that So when I go back out there, this time I'm going to strap onto my bike my little portable chair that my wife bought for me for my birthday. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to sit on that same ridge once again in my chair and take it all in. I need that. Maybe you do too. Because that's serenity. And maybe, just maybe, that's peace of mind. As always, thank you so much for listening. I wish you peace. I wish you love. Peace.